For centuries, Beetlejuice has captivated the human imagination. Hanging like a burning red jewel in the shoulder of the Orion constellation, it has long been considered one of the most mysterious stars in our night sky. With a diameter nearly 1,400 times larger than our sun, Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, an enormous, dying star teetering on the edge of cosmic collapse. Astronomers have studied it for generations, always wondering the same thing. When will it explode? But recently, after years of rumors, uncertainty, and speculation, the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful eye in space, finally delivered an image that could redefine what we know about stellar death, the universe, and our place within it. It all began a few years ago when something peculiar started happening. Betelgeuse, known for its dazzling luminosity, began to dim rapidly. For a star that burns so brightly, this behavior was unexpected. Its fading brightness sparked a flurry of theories. Some scientists speculated that it was about to go supernova, an event so powerful it could briefly outshine an entire galaxy. Others believed it was just part of a natural cycle. But one thing was certain. The eyes of the astronomical world were fixed on Betelgeuse. Then came the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, a technological marvel equipped with a 6.5-meter gold-plated mirror, engineered to see deeper into space and further back in time than ever before. While its primary mission was to peer into the distant cosmos, exploring the origins of galaxies and searching for habitable exoplanets, Betelgeuse quickly became a top priority target. What secrets did this aging giant hold? And could Webb uncover the truth behind its strange behavior? The world waited and then it happened. The first high-resolution infrared image of Betelgeuse arrived. It was more than just a picture. It was a revelation. What Webb captured was unlike anything scientists had expected. Rather than showing a dying, fading star at the end of its life, the image revealed a complex, active, and violently dynamic surface. The star wasn't quietly flickering out. It was erupting with hot spots, bright regions, and colossal ejections of gas and dust. These weren't the calm, dying breaths of a star preparing to fade into darkness. These were the furious roars of a cosmic titan fighting against the inevitable. The image showed massive clouds of gas and dust enveloping Betelgeuse, clouds the star had expelled itself in massive, fiery outbursts known as stellar mass ejections. These events are similar to solar flares from our own sun, but on a far more catastrophic scale. The star's surface looked like a cosmic battlefield, regions brightening and dimming in a matter of weeks unheard of for a star of its size. Scientists were stunned. Was Betelgeuse dying or defying everything we thought we knew about how stars end? Theories erupted. Some astronomers still believe these violent behaviors signal Betelgeuse's imminent death, perhaps within our lifetimes, something that would offer a once-in-a-civilization opportunity to witness a supernova from Earth. Others argue that this activity may actually be a sign that the star is stabilizing, working through some mysterious internal cycle. Either way, the implications are monumental. For centuries, humanity has mapped the skies, hoping to understand our cosmic roots. We've theorized about how stars are born, live, and die. But Betelgeuse is forcing us to rewrite the final chapters of that story. It challenges our assumptions about red supergiants. It demands we reconsider the complexity of the processes leading up to a supernova. And if it does explode, the spectacle would be unforgettable. A supernova of Betelgeuse's magnitude would light up Earth's night sky for weeks, possibly even becoming visible in daylight. It would be like seeing a second sun rise, not with heat, but with brilliance. Thankfully, the star is located about 642 light years away, far enough that the explosion poses no danger to life on Earth, but close enough for scientists to observe in unparalleled detail. Such an event could transform our understanding of stellar death. It would allow researchers to watch, in real time, how a star collapses and blasts its material into the surrounding space. It would show us how supernovae seed the universe with life-giving elements, like iron, oxygen, and carbon materials that eventually form planets, oceans, and even us. In fact, every atom of carbon in your body, every molecule of oxygen you breathe, was born inside a star like Betelgeuse, then scattered across the cosmos in a supernova. 
These ancient explosions are responsible for the very building blocks of life. In a way, studying Beetlejuice is studying ourselves, our origins, and perhaps our destiny. But the story doesn't end with Beetlejuice. The James Webb Space Telescope's mission has only just begun. It has already provided us with glimpses of early galaxies, revealed water vapor on distant exoplanets, and now offered a groundbreaking view of one of the most fascinating stars in our galactic neighborhood. And still, this is only the beginning. Each image captured by Webb peels back another layer of the universe's mysteries. From the birth of stars in distant nebulas to the potential for life on exoplanets orbiting distant suns, Webb is our most powerful tool for exploring both the past and future of the cosmos. It has become a cosmic time machine, showing us how the universe looked billions of years ago and what it may yet become. As we continue to collect data, refine our theories, and look deeper into the night, one thing is clear. We are witnessing a revolution in astronomy. A golden age of discovery, fueled by our relentless curiosity and the tools we've built to chase it. Betelgeuse is more than just a star. It's a messenger from the universe, telling us there's still so much we don't understand and so much more to explore. Its mysterious behavior, unveiled by the James Webb Telescope, is a reminder that even the most ancient cosmic giants can surprise us. So what happens next? Will Betelgeuse explode in a fiery finale, gifting us the rarest celestial show of our time? Or will it continue to baffle and intrigue us, revealing new secrets each year? Only time will tell. But one thing is for certain, with instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, we're ready to witness it all. So now we turn to you. What do you think of this incredible image of Betelgeuse? Are we about to witness a supernova in our own lifetime? Or have we uncovered something even more mysterious? Something that might change our understanding of the stars forever? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to stay updated on the wonders that the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to reveal, from dying stars to distant Earth-like worlds, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because the story of the universe is unfolding before our eyes, and you won't want to miss a single chapter. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep looking up.